What's up guys, it's Cody here. And today in this video, we're gonna be talking about the Google Assistant. Now, why are we gonna be talking about the Google Assistant on this channel? Well, at Google I.O. today, they announced that the Google Assistant is going to be available on iOS. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that Siri has some Siri us competition. Am I right or am I right? No? Okay, I'll shut up. Now, if you guys wanna check out the Google Assistant on iOS for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below so you guys just click on it, download it, use it, enjoy it, love it, marry it, replace Siri with it. Well, don't replace Siri just yet because in this video, we're actually gonna be putting the Google Assistant head to head with Siri. Something that was built for Google versus something that was built for the iPhone on the iPhone. Which one should win and which one will win? That's what we're gonna find out in this video. Now, if you guys don't know how I feel about Siri, then maybe you should check out the last video that I posted that talks about the brand new Apple product that is coming next month. So if you guys want a sneak peek at that, then I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to check it out. Enough chatter, let's get to it. Head to head, iPhone versus iPhone, Siri versus Google Assistant. Let's do it. All right, so here we have both of the iPhones. This one right here, we're going to be using the Google Assistant on, and this one, we're going to be using Siri. So we have several questions that we're going to ask it, and we're just gonna see how each of these assistants handle each question. And hopefully by the end of these questions, we'll be able to determine which one is the better assistant on iOS. So let's go ahead and activate both of these and start asking questions. What's the weather like? So simple enough, I'm actually on the border of Plano and Richardson, so you can see the two different uh, locations here, but they were both pretty quick. Open the health app. Sorry, I don't know how to open that, but I'm still learning. So you can see with the Google Assistant on iOS, she can't quite open up applications just yet. What's five times 52 plus eight? The answer is 268. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Sure, okay, 10, 10 minutes and counting. Starting. Cancel the timer. All right, it's canceled. Okay, I stopped the timer and reset it to 10 minutes. What is the address to the Ranger Stadium? The street address for address Global for Life Globe Park Life is 1000 Ballpark Way, Arlington. 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 1000 Ballpark Way, Arlington, Texas. Now the nice thing about the Google Assistant is, is that this is going to open up the address directly in Google Maps, which you can see right here. Now of course, with Siri, it's gonna open up inside of Apple Maps, which is probably less preferred for most users. What time does Home Depot close? I found 15 Business places Home named Depot. Home Depot. Richardson. Tap the one you are. The Home Depot on North Central Expressway, Plano is open today from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. Who's the president of the United States? Okay, check the it out. The president of the United States of America is Donald Trump. So anybody asking this question is obviously looking for a name of the president. This just brings up basically, in general, who the president of the United States is and what they do. Not too smart there, Siri. Who's the president of the United States? Okay, give me a moment. All right, so we're going to try again. Donald Trump from January 20th, 2017 to present. How tall is he? Here's what I found on the web for tall. how tall is United States. Siri seems to be falling off the wagon here. How old is the president of the United States? 70 years old. Okay, I found this on the web for how old is the president of United States. So you can see that Siri is absolutely falling short here. This is a whole lot more conversational than this, which is I have to ask a completely new question in a couple of different ways in order to get the answer that I want. Wow, Trump is an old geezer. What's the Activision stock price? Activision Blizzard closed at $54.23 today. Who won the World Series in 2016? The Cubs won the World, World Series 4-3 over the, the Indians. Cubs. They won the last game 8-7 to seven on November 2nd, 2016. While this gives you a nice and clear, concise answer of the Chicago Cubs, this actually gives you a game breakdown that you can scroll through and everything's presented to you really nice and cleanly. So 
Actually, in this case, I'm going to go with Siri here. What's the capital of Texas? Austin, Austin is, the is the capital, the capital of, Texas. of Texas. What's the population? The population Check of Texas my sources. was 27.47 million in 2015. I'm afraid I couldn't find anything on Donald Trump. There's the Siri we all know and love. First, she didn't even know Donald Trump was the president of the United States. Now she's trying to figure out the population of Donald Trump. How many square miles is it? Okay, check it out. Square miles. Here's the definition of a square mile. Fantastic. Show me pictures of puppies. Pictures are some images of puppies I found on the web. No. That's some cute puppies. Show me the last picture I took. These pictures should match. So neither one of these assistants were able to bring up the last photo that I took. Over here, it's actually showing some shared photos uh, that my sister sent me of my nieces and nephews. Remember, tomorrow is the Byron Nelson. Okay. So this is a cool thing that Google Assistant can do that Siri cannot. This is actually setting up a reminder, while this one actually will remember that the Byron Nelson is tomorrow. So if I go ahead and say, what did I tell you to remember? Here's what you asked me to remember recently. Okay, I found May this 17, on the web. For what did I tell you to remember? remember? Tomorrow is the Byron Nelson. So this is actually a nifty little trick to use with Google Assistant that Siri just absolutely cannot do. If you don't want them to remember that anymore, then you can always just tap on forget. Now, not only does it help with events, but you could say things like, remember that I parked my car in 5A. Okay, I'll remember you parked in 5A, but I can't determine your current location or your location setting is not on. So my location setting actually isn't on uh, for this application right now. But if I was walking out of the mall and I said, where's my car? You told me you parked in 5A. Boom. That's pretty cool. Show me my messages. Sorry, I can't have eight messages, messages from Mitchell yet. 4KZ and a message from Mandy sent to the group, the drug smuggling trio. So Siri is obviously integrated into the iOS system, so it's able to read our messages directly from the messages app. The Google Assistant can't quite do that just yet, but I have a itching feeling that that is absolutely coming. So it's actually probably easy to say that the Google Assistant right now doesn't have app integration for any of the iOS apps, since I wasn't able to open up messages, I wasn't able to access my photos, and I wasn't able to open up the health app. Take a selfie. I can't take you have a on message iPhones. from Mandy sent to the group, the drug smuggling trio. All right, so I neither one of those so. can do those. Ha, huh, did you hear that? Read that message again. It says, I love Alexa. That's an interesting message to send during this video. Translate unique New York in Spanish. Here's what I found on the web for translate unique New York in Spanish. So obviously the Google Assistant here can translate while Siri just literally Bing searches it. it. Actually brings up Google Translate. Now while the Google Assistant can't open up iOS apps, it can open up Google Apps. So for instance, open up Google Maps. Opening Maps. Or if we go back here, Open Translate. Opening Translate. So you can see that it can open up every Google app. It just can't open up iOS apps yet. Now, of course, Siri is always going to be available by holding down the home button, but you can actually access your Google Assistant right here on your home screen on your widgets. Of course, you just have to add the widget. If you scroll all the way down here, tap Add, and then tap on Add Your Google Widget. Once you do that, it's going to be right there for you to access. Tell me a joke. Two okay, iPhones walk into a bar. What's the I difference forget the rest. Between ignorance and apathy. I don't know and I don't care. Now both of those jokes are pretty bad. But one of the cool things about Google Assistant is that it gives you suggestions down here. So you can see there's some random fun, you can see some interesting facts, play a game. So it obviously knows, hey, Cody's bored. Let's try to entertain him. And Siri, on the other hand, can't even remember the whole joke.
Let's find out an interesting fact. Sure thing. According to Wikipedia, Greece's official name is the Hellenic Republic. What an interesting fact. Let's have some random fun. Here's a quote. Brian Tracy once said, Develop an attitude of gratitude. Say thank you to everyone you meet for everything they do for you. Well, Brian Tracy, I think that's a great quote. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? It depends on whether you are talking about African or European wood. Each with their own hypothetical chucking ability. What? Still, from my read of the literature, one would have to chuck at least their own body weight to be competitive. Well, they're both smart asses. So after asking the Google Assistant and Siri several of the same questions, I would have to say that the Google Assistant eked out a win. Not just because I don't like Siri, which I don't, I really do not enjoy Siri, but I will say that Google Assistant actually answered questions a whole lot better and it's a whole lot more conversational than Siri is. Now, if you don't remember, I asked what the population of Austin was and Siri said she couldn't find anything on Donald Trump. Siri said she couldn't find anything on Donald Trump. And right before that, she didn't know who the president of the United States was. So yeah, Google Assistant wins in my opinion. Yeah, Google Assistant can't open up iOS apps just yet, but I have an itching suspicion that that's gonna be coming pretty soon. I remember a jailbreak tweet back in the day that actually replaced Siri with OK Google, and it was like the best combination that ever had happened in the universe. I loved it. Now, if you guys haven't heard, Apple actually recently just acquired a company called Dark Data. So this is actually supposed to help Siri and its learning ability. So Dark Data is a machine learning company and hopefully is going to help shape Siri into what Apple thinks Siri really is. But Siri isn't. Siri lacks a brain. And I guess one other thing to consider is people on iOS are happy that the Google Assistant has been added. Now think about if Siri was added to the Google Play Store. Do you think many Android users would download Siri? Hmm, probably not. That can kind of tell you right there who's winning that battle. But of course, I want to know what you guys think about these two assistants in the comments below. Let me know if you guys plan on downloading the Google Assistant or if you're going to stick with Siri. Again, that link for the Google Assistant is going to be in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. All right, guys, that's all I got for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you hit that like button. Share this with a friend. Share it with an Android fan. Share it with an iOS fan. Let's get the debate going down in the comments. All right, guys, if you want to stay up to date with everything tech and Apple, be sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next video.